All right, Jeff, huge announcement. Uh, we see the banner up on the big screen, K-Days Rodeo. Give us a little bit of what it's going to happen. Well, I guess let's backtrack a little and talk about a little bit about how we got here. And, uh, you know, back in 2013, uh, Keenan Vine and I were, were sitting with Tim, and Tim was brand new to rodeo, and we said, Tim, wouldn't it be so exciting if we could have an outdoor rodeo during K-Days? And he said, yeah, that would be so exciting. So the idea kind of fizzled out a little bit, and uh, it got some momentum here about a couple months back when uh, – we started uh, dialoguing again. Tim and I used to talk about, well, wow, how, what can we do to make a real big splash for uh, the rodeo world? And, you know, I said, uh, we need to do something to preserve our long-term relationship here. You know, this, this building may not be here forever. And we had to say, okay, how do we carry on this relationship? And he said, outdoor rodeo. So we're going to host it on the indoor rodeo for at least for the first two years, but with the idea that we're going to try and eventually get it outside. I mean, it's amazing. This is going to be the biggest one header in North America, and it's awesome. Well, that's it. You talk about it being the biggest one header, and for those rodeo fans that don't know, we're talking about each contestant pays one entry fee. There's no short go; it's a long go only. And we talk about four hundred thousand dollars. That's the money's huge. It's comparable to just about no other rodeo. So in each event, we're looking, you know, fifty thousand plus. Yeah, we have some great communities uh, that support our, our rodeo tour. Obviously, Pinocchio is a, you know, is, is a rodeo of equal magnitude, um, but they have multiple goes and, and a different format. And uh, this is just being a one time, a one chance, a one roll of the dice and winner take all. Uh, you know, not winner take all, but it'd be about 10 money rodeo and it's going to be it's gonna be awesome. Well, and this is going to create opportunities for the contestants, the Cowboys, the Cowgirls, to qualify for the Canadian finals, to qualify for the national finals, to... Uh, I guess move on to bigger, better, and keep the longe longevity of our sport alive. Do we foresee other things coming besides this? Well, geez, we've had a pretty busy week already this week uh, in terms of announcing, uh, you know, certain things. And you know, I, I'm I'm just really excited about the direction that we're going in, and, and our board has been very progressive about how we're doing some things now and trying to get back to the communities. and And this this rodeo really is going to be. It's going to be something, and, and it's <clears throat> it really is going to be value add for the six pack ticket holders. I mean, to think it would come to three perfs of a rodeo for forty two bucks. I mean, it's pretty bloody amazing, right? And um, especially a rodeo this caliber. Well, it is, and thanks for what you've been doing for a rodeo, whether it be for take bring us to back to the Canadian finals here for another two years, helping with this program. It's going to be awesome for Canadian professional rodeo. We have another date on the schedule, but not only that. A great way to see more great rodeo action up here in Edmonton.